So, with the drought, time to think of options. Alan Martin mm -hmm. has one to show us. Alan, this sounds pretty cool. It's pretty unusual, and there may be no such thing as free water anymore unless you capture the rain, but how about pulling water out of thin air? A Bay Area company is doing just that, and it's right out of a science fiction movie. What I really need is a droid who understands the binary language of moisture evaporators. Evaporators? In Star Wars, moisture evaporators took the humidity from the air and produced drinking water. Today, that galaxy isn't so far away. It's in the East Bay town of Pacheco, near Concord. The machines are called atmospheric water generators, made by Ecoloblue. People are starting to realize that they need to make changes. And, um, you know, the water's running out and are looking for options. Ecolo Blue has been making these water makers for eight years. It's basically a dehumidifier on steroids. The moisture caught from the air is condensed to water. This company video shows how humidity from the air is removed and then put through a filtration process, making it cleaner than tap water. The machine performs best in hot, humid weather, but Wayne Ferreira says it'll make drinking water even on dry days. Industrial units, up to 2,500 gallons a day. Smaller household machines, up to eight gallons daily. For Michael De Benedetto in Walnut Creek. It is definitely a part of the solution. The atmospheric water generator he's had for five years is his only source of drinking water. I believe that the atmospheric water generators have, th their, their time has come. But to some, that timing is still questionable. The idea would be practical it, depending on how much water is needed. UC Davis professor Ralph Aldridge says the machines are expensive and expensive to run. Home units cost at least $1,300, industrial versions up to a quarter million. It is worth the cost, certainly on a small scale, but on a larger scale, one has to consider not only the cost of energy, but also the cost of in, the infrastructure. At Ecolo Blue, after a few hours, there are several gallons of water ready to be filtered. That's actually quite a bit. Ecolo Blue is working on installing entire water stations in the Middle East and South America that would produce 100,000 gallons a day. Here in the U.S., the company believes that one day those machines will be in just about every home, kind of like we have a microwave oven now. Mm. Certainly in California. We know and, that. and they should get more efficient in terms of energy use. Yeah. It's amazing. I know. Yeah, never heard of that. Innovation. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Alan. Mm -hmm.